What's up guys, today I am super pumped. We are back at it with the LPT giveaway trailer and we're doing something a little different. Today I'm gonna to give you a totally different perspective. You know, you have to listen to me all the time and just take my word for it, but not today. Let's go and we'll show you what we're talking about. All right, we've made it to location. You may recognize in the background, looks a little familiar maybe. We shoot some of our videos here, product videos from time to time. We are at Stancil Construction. So the purpose, you're asking why are we here? We are meeting with Justin Stancil, the man himself. He's been in construction for over 20 years. We're meeting with him to get some reviews, get some first takes on the LPT giveaway trailer. The man has about 12 Diamond C trailers uh, or something like that in his fleet. And so we're gonna come meet with him. Like I say, get his honest feedback. Let's go find Justin. Further ado, shop. Oh, there he is. All right, guys. So we found Justin coming. We came in the shop. How's it going, man? How are you? Oh, good. So today we, we came out. I don't think we gave you a lot of heads up on what we're doing. No. But, um, you know, what we want to do is we're giving away an LPT dump trailer. We are, um, it's to celebrate milestones on our social media channel, on, on a follower account. And so, but we want, you know, what I told them in the intro is they have to listen to me a lot and take my word for it on stuff. And, you know, when you're listening to the brand, it goes so far, but what uh, really goes far is the guys who actually are out there doing the work every day with equipment like this. And so being that you have, what, a 10 or 12 Diamond C trailers, you know, we wanted to get your honest feedback, first take on this dump trailer, what you like about it, what you would do different, and then maybe show us uh, do some work with it. Show us how you would use the trailer on the side. Let's go check it out. Cool. Let's take a look. All right, we're going back to the back of the property. Justin's following us up there. One thing I didn't mention a while ago is Justin is actually one of our next round of ambassadors. Uh, look for his his uh, profile page on the website to come here in the next uh, next little bit. You'll be able to check out more about the business and see more of the, the trailers he has and that kind of thing. All right, so we're at the trailer. Just start from the front. Kind of give us your perspective, man. What, what do you think? Yeah, so, man, I love it. I love the blue. Um, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, I see so many things just different than the Diamond C trailers or dump trailers that we have right now that, to me, are just game changers. Uh, first thing that points out or sticks out to me right off the bat is this long-arm tarp. Uh, man, we, we pile these trailers as high as we can, and then when we try to slide the tarp down the rail, so many times we're hanging up or we're tearing the tarp or we're dragging trash to the back and this long arm, uh, no more problems with that. Uh, just like our dump trucks, we ran dump trucks for years. And so long arm tarps on the dump truck, I've always been like, when am I gonna get one on my dump trailer? This, this makes me happy. The telescopic cylinder, huge. Uh, um, I don't see us ever, overloading this thing yeah no it's just simple simple physics or simple uh geometry whatever you call it i mean straight push there's just no question uh i used to have guys that dreaded getting sent to a job site because they didn't want to have to jack with a tarp or uh some of my older hands uh they're willing to do anything but man they hated they hated messing with uh dragging that tarp down so this this makes it so easy and another thing that my guys just go crazy about when it comes to easy use is this hydraulic jack. Um, it's, it seems like it's one of those things where you get it on two or three trailers and then they expect it on all of them. So uh, I love the jack. Um, well, it's almost taking care of your guys too. Uh, yeah, definitely. And then when you're talking about taking care of something, we got to talk about this solar pulse charger. So in, in the early days, I remember that anytime we had anything that had uh, batteries on it, we were like, oh, that's maintenance, or we're gonna get hung out and the battery's dead. But since we went to having, we, we, every, every battery operated machine we have or um, trailer with the solar panel, we never see any problems uh, with dead batteries or downtime. So that is huge. And then I look right there and I see that we've got the engineer beam technology from, the, from our F-Maxes. Now it's on the, uh, the dump trailer so that's pretty exciting too i love how i love how this neck is deep just to give us some extra storage uh in this front box that's great because one of the biggest things for us is time and so 
I can see this trailer getting a crew to the job site with, with everything they need. We've got a place for our forks. I can keep the bucket on my skid steer. I can have my forks uh, stored right here. The fact that I'm taking my skid, skid steer with me, now I've got a place for my tie downs and they're always on this trailer. Um, we, we found where if we don't have a set of boomers on every trailer, then we're always missing some. So having that home for them is gonna be huge. And then still having a little bit of storage on top when we need to grab that generator or uh, that water pump, that's gonna be fun too. Uh, I still, I keep seeing this long iron tarp and I just keep thinking about how, how much my guys are gonna go crazy about that and, and no more complaints about dragging the tarp or it just, it's always something with the tarp. Um, let's see, oh, man. so I remember for years we fought trailer flats, trailer flats, trailer flats. And so we started going to the 14 ply or better tires. And when I, when I heard that uh, Diamond C is standard 14 ply, I was like game changer. And this trailer, so this trailer is 16 ply. That's even better. Uh, when we, the, the heavier ply tires, to me, it's a direct, the direct result of that is, is zero flats and more, I mean, extended years of use for sure. Yeah. Uh, Tire maintenance is tire maintenance and battery maintenance. I remember when those were a thing, and they've they've just about gone away. And I feel like this is why right here. For sure. So looking at it, what what would you do different on this one? Like if you were going to order one for the type of business you do, what would you change? What would you? How would you set it up? Hold on. Before we answer that, I just noticed this. So to me, this is I haven't seen this yet. So this is really crazy. So these this new door hold open mechanism. No more chains. No more chains. So the rattling chains, the fishing the chain back down in the hole, the the not chaining it. I've had so many guys say, "Well, I chained it, and it still hit the ground." Well, you didn't chain it. This take there's this is foolproof. Like it's either held open or it's not held open. So I, I I'm I'm really I'm really digging that right there. That's cool. So what would I do different? Hmm. So you heard me say that we run dump trucks. So, you know, a lot of times we rely on the dump trucks for the big heavy loads of dirt and gravel. And we rely on our dump trailers for mainly debris, uh, you know, cleaning up shops uh, or job sites and, and uh, getting rid of that debris. Not to say that it's not a great feeling knowing that if we're on that job site and we decide, hey, we need 12 yards of brick sand and we want to haul it with that trailer that we can that that's a great feeling too but with with the trash removal and 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 the hauling off construction debris um i like the i like to go with a little higher side and we usually stretch them out to the 14 16 really the 16 foot even 18 feet so and when i get to that size i like to go with the gooseneck version yeah makes sense so what ideas did you have for loading this one up today so yeah let's uh let's fill it with dirt and let's put a skid steer in i don't want to see if it'll dump huh yeah let's put a ski let's let's see how much dirt we can put in it and then let's 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 see how it handles loading a skid steer sounds like a plan okay so they tell me it's uh rated at twelve thousand pounds so somewhere around six yards of dirt my goal is to uh we're always good at overloading stuff so let's go put nine yards in it Let's see how high we can get it so we can see how that long arm tart works and see if it'll dump it. Ah, you know, it's uh it's all it's kind of nice sometimes when you have somebody else load the dirt for you. Most of these videos, you know, whenever, like I talked about, whenever I'm making videos to show you guys stuff like this, uh, I have to be the one running the equipment. But this time, we got the, the pro on the loader. So, he's getting it up there pretty high. Maybe one more in the front, right here. We have him put one more right up front. It's probably pretty heavy. He's got the tires are squatting, but I'll put one more in the front. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? You hear it kind of squatting the truck? And I heard the suspension creak a little bit. We're going to find out, and I feel pretty confident because we've uh, done a lot of testing with these. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a problem with dumping it, but. I know what's not going to be a problem is tarping it, <laughs> where before it would have been impossible to tarp this load. Yeah, we'll go give it a. Let's see what we can do. Go the other way. There we go. Oh, Kinda man. unlocks. Wow. Pretty cool right there. So it's like what you were talking about Just earlier, like, is it would be a two man job. Oh, uh, it would have been impossible for someone to safely get that tarp drug over that pile of dirt. Is it, I mean I've done it, you're standing on the fender, you know, trying yeah. to bring that yeah. other rollback tarp over. Or you're actually it. walking on the dirt yeah. and then climbing over the back gate. So all kinds of uh, yeah. acrobatics. I don't know how many times I've walked a load of nails and trash just trying to get a tarp from one end to the other. For sure. All right, let's roll it up. It? I want one of these on all my trailers now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, let's dump it. You want to back? You want me to back it up, or just dump it where it's at? I would just dump it right there. All right. Still. I think that's the jack. Oh yeah. <laughs> the jack and. Hey. The the jack and the. But what we what did we not do? Oh, we, we didn't, didn't even use open our the door, door. Our holdbacks. Hey, we almost did what? Unfortunately, some uh, employees do for exactly to right. Run these things. We got a little excited. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. He's ready now. How many scoops did it end up being? Was it 10 or 9? It's about 9. 9, which is 18,000 18,000 pounds ish. Yeah. So it is overloaded, disclaimer. It's definitely overloaded. Um, not, not encouraging this at all. But the beauty of the telescopic, just like we've talked about in other videos, is the fact that when this happens, because it's not, with a dump trailer, it's not if, it's when you get overloaded like that. Um, at least you can get rid of it and it's not going to break the, you know, break the trailer. You easily dumps it, no problem. And then you kind of start over. You hear it catch that second gear. Got that two stage cylinder. Each time it, well, it'll go, it'll go to a third one here in a second. There you go. Crazy. A, a scissor lift, you would not be dumping that right now. I'm no just way. Uh, pretty, pretty confident. Nowhere, nowhere possible. There it is. Come pull forward. No, let it down? Yeah, you go ahead and let it down. So one of the detractors of the telescopic on these uh, that we heard from guys like yourself for, for years when we first started building was they were so slow. And now with this pump, when we redesigned the trailer back at early 2023, with this pump, it's a higher flow pump. And so it actually has about the same cycle time as a scissor lift. 
So you said earlier, time is, time is valuable. And so they actually enlarged the return port as well. So coming back down is, is faster. Down here, it's not as big a deal where it's warm. Up, up north is where it gets, it gets uh, slow and sticky. <laughs> it gets a little slower when you get to the bigger stages, but it's still, uh, still pretty quick. You can hear the power. Yeah, it's somewhat of a trade-off, right? In that yeah. you have that insurance of knowing it's gonna dump, knowing you're always gonna have enough power. In some instances, maybe a touch slower, but or about the same, but yet you're not giving up any anything, and you know you're gonna dump it. There's been a lot of times I've questioned whether my load was gonna dump. I don't feel like that would happen anymore. Time to load the skid steer. The skid steer sitting on what was a 18 EEQ gooseneck. It was uh, like the channel frame version of what you know as the LPX now. But he's got a EEQ that still runs every day. F Max 210 SS sitting there. Two straight, uh, one straight deck DEC, one with max ramps, and then an LPX 102 wide. There's just a handful of the trailers that they run every day. There's a couple down there at the entrance as well. And none of his dump trailers are here, obviously. They're all on site, like he was talking about, debris removal, things like that. Those trailers are out there being filled up as we speak. So it's kind of a snapshot of the Diamond Sea Love line there. We're going to go ahead and drop these stabilizer drop legs down. These are part of the, uh, part of the pace setter package. Pass the test. Yeah, I would say you see the, the stabilizer drop legs. Crazy. Crazy difference in the stability of loading something like this. Yeah. Into a dump trailer. Into a dump trailer. Yeah. What happens the, is those act the as the knees kind of like on your equipment trailer. Yeah. They give it a good stable footing. Yeah. A lot safer it, backing it, out of them. It is somewhat more of a breakover, you know, than if you were to allow the trailer to just really uh, drive down and pick up the back of the truck. But you know you're on an incline, whatever, and you don't uh, you don't have those uh, stabilizer legs down. I mean, you push you all kinds of crazy stuff can happen. Yeah, it it definitely keeps us from taking all the weight off the rear wheels of the truck. Yeah, for sure. So as part of the the this giveaway, it has our new what we're calling pace setter edition, which is a handful of options that we've learned that guys like yourself have said, hey, these are some of the things that make the most difference for us, and what that is is the uh, stabilizer drop legs, the 3 16 fenders, the board brackets with the, the raised front and the boards, and then the solar panel and hydraulic jack. So those, those things are all part of that package. What do, you, what do you think? Do you think that that lines up with what we've said that uh, the end user says is most important? Like, are those difference makers on the job? Like, what, how do you feel about that? I know what's important to us at Stansel Construction, and I wouldn't want a trailer that didn't have the those options yeah yeah time easy use they all, they just they answer all the questions gotcha the only thing i see that that i would have to do different uh you asked me that earlier and i i didn't see anything else but i definitely would have to have my charcoal color with my blue pin stripe <laughs> that's kind of been become the signature <laughs> and it took it took a minute we did a few trailers that didn't have it like i was yeah. showing them while ago the the yeah. old uh one that the the eq that the Man. Skid steer was on and then it's older deck over. The rest of them are all the charcoal with the blue, all charcoal which looks really blue. sharp. Yep. All right, Justin, any final thoughts on the giveaway LPT? Uh, two things. So one, with the pace setter accessories, the long arm tarp, just everything about this trailer makes me think y'all been listening to all our gripes, complaints, and wants when it comes to trailers. Yeah. And two, how do I sign up to win this thing? <laughs> well, you as an ambassador can't sign up, but you guys out there, that can sign up, 
Link is in the bio. What are you waiting for? So while Justin's clearly having a little bit of fun loading and unloading the skid steer, I want to clear one thing. Obviously you're thinking, man, you're going to give me a used trailer? No, no, no. We actually have a twin being built just like this that will be nice and fresh and ready to roll whenever the winter comes to pick up the trailer and tour at Diamond Sea.